Hi there, this is Viva. He's 11. He's an ex very successful flat racer, raced under the name of Viva Vittori. Um, he's been with me not a massive length of time, probably about six weeks, long enough for me to know that he's just an absolute gem. He's easy to handle, easy to turn out with other horses. He hacks out on his own, he hacks out in company. Um, what more can I say? He's just a lovely lad. He doesn't have any hang-ups. He's not frightened of traffic. Um, yeah, he's just, he's just super. We've been doing predominantly flat work with him, flat work and hacking, just to get him stronger. He was, he was a bit skinny when he first came, bless him. And he's still one of the narrowest boys I've ever sat on. So I wouldn't want to stick anyone probably over 12 stone on him because he is narrow. But what an elegant looking horse. I think you'll see from, from oh, you steady up. From when we start to work him in a minute, you'll see how he can really carry himself. He's beautiful. And I'll hold him here a second. Oh, bub. Oh, we will get him over um, a couple of jumps this week. And I can't do it on the video, I'm afraid. I don't want to rush him, but he's lunged over jumps and he's fabulous. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to work him in walk, trot and canter on both reins so you can see his paces and see his aptitude. Um, and just what a genuine lad he is. I hope you like him. Feel free to give me a ring and ask any questions. Uh, we're an open book with our horses. Um, yeah, hope you enjoy. You won't catch me. Working nine to five The rap race The grind And you can keep those suits and those boots You can keep your four-wheel drive And you can keep those penthouse views And I'm heading with the tides I got my whole plan to sink up You got me hook, line, and sinker Hook, line, and sinker, babe Horses for crossing I ain't no about Viva is this is the horse where if I want to work on my seat I can just drop the reins and he won't speed up and I can just canter around the school and practice just just sitting good boy And this is a canter that you can just sit on all day. He found trot work quite difficult. He was a bit like a sewing machine. But his canter is his very, very strong pace. Ridden just in a little French link bow steady, 
good boy. And walk. And he's got a little drop nose band on. Simply to help him, not to help me. He was quite resistant to the hand, as often they all are, because they're just ridden so differently. So I persevered for the first few weeks just in a very loose caverson. And I was finding that his evasion of opening his mouth and grinding his teeth was just diluting my aid somewhat. So simply just helping to keep my aids clear and concise has just brought him on leaps and bounds. I don't think it's gonna be a permanent fixture, but as you'll see from his video, he does like to show his teeth, but this has improved massively. This has gone from a horse with an open mouth, a cross jaw and a sideways head to something that's really willing and wants to work. He's just fabulous. We've jumped him on the lunge and wow, that's all I can say to that. He's just brilliant. He doesn't like to touch poles. He doesn't stop. He doesn't speed up. He doesn't look to run out. He just wants to keep coming. We've not jumped him massively. He's popped about a meter on the lunge and it's great. And he clears it with nearly a foot to spare. So if you want something to produce to show jump or in particular to event, then this is your boy. I quite like the older thoroughbreds, especially when they've just come from a, a flat racing background because they've not been taught to jump badly. And once you actually get them working over their back and get them built up and stronger through the shoulder, they make a hell of a shape. Jumping them too soon is, is the, the most common problem, especially with the younger thoroughbreds. He's lovely. Boy, he's gonna find a brilliant home. <laughs>